Hey everyone, it's Kathy Champion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Gastonia, North Carolina, and I want to thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope that you will enjoy what we have uh, here today that's going to be Valentine's. We have about a week until the big day of love so it's it's not just so much a day of love yes it is it's Saint Valentine's Day but it's also a time just to let people know that you're thinking of them you care about them and that you love them so it's more than just a, a, a card to your your sweetheart your husband your your um, boyfriend girlfriend um, husband, wife, what, whatever. You can send these Valentines to your children. You can send them to friends. You can send them to brothers and sisters. I mean, there, nobody will fault you for sending out a Valentine. So, before we get started, I want to go through a little bit of housekeeping, and that's just to remind y'all about the host code for February. This is our host code and how that works. My online store that will be linked below this video in the description, uh, you will find this host code. If you click on the link that will take you to my website, which is my Stamping Up um, catalog website where you can actually go and shop uh, and you use this host code and spend $50 or more before shipping and tax at the end of the month I will calculate everyone that has shopped with me and then I will send you a free gift um, but also any purchase that you make during the month of February will put you in the drawing for a stamp set that is called um, Hang on, I got it right here. Ah, uh, it's called a touch of ink, and let me pull that. This is a, this one's mine, and it is used. Let me zoom y'all in just a little bit so you can see. Uh, this stamp set is absolutely beautiful, and I do have a card that I made with it. Um, now this card I saw another demonstrator make and I thought it was so pretty I wanted to make it too. But the flowers here, the little gray, uh, gray speckles and this butterfly all come from this stamp set. So there are the flowers right there. And the stamp set is much bigger than what it shows here. It tells you that it's 65% smaller than the actual images because you can see there's the butterfly and this is the butterfly on the package. It's much, much bigger. It is a two set stamp and this is in the celebration and if you, for this particular stamp set you have to spend $100 during celebration which goes through the 28th of this month uh, in order to get this. But I am giving away a brand new uh, Touch of Ink stamp set at uh, the end of this month for anyone who purchases any amount in my online store and you have to use the host code. That is a must. So I just wanted to put that out there so everybody would know. Um, and if you have had some things on your on your want list uh, or your wish list, now would be a good time to go get them because not only by spending $50 with me will you get a free gift, but you'll also be able to pick out something out of the celebration catalog. There's only two items in there that are a $100 purchase that are free. Everything else is a $50 purchase. There's stamp sets, there's paper packs, and everything in there this time is gorgeous. Okay, I want to go over real quick some Valentine products. Here is our Duo Heart Punch and as you, if you notice they're the same size heart but one punch is a scallop and one is just a regular image. That actually goes with the Heart Felt stamp set. So if you bought these two, this, these two together you can buy the stamp set separately or you can buy the punches separately but if you want them both and you order them together using the bundle number you get a 10% savings. Now you have to use the bundle number and I'll have that all listed for you. I'll, I'll list the individual as well as the bundle. So that way if you want both you can get it and save an extra 10%. And we all like to save a little money. Um, of course my husband says if you're spending money you're not saving money but hey, <laughs> us girls like to go shopping you know. 
the other stamp set that's that's a Valentine's stamp set, or I want to say can be used for Valentine's. These all are stamps and um, dies and punches that you can use any time of the year. It does not have to be um, Valentine's Day. We are going to be using this one and these dies today. Um, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set and die set. Look at these dies. It's called um, Mini Hearts and there are a buku of hearts in this one. You also get a little bird. Uh, you have this little heart border. You have a, a a border that actually goes horizontal and one that goes vertical. Uh, there's just so many different little elements. You got the little flowers, a butterfly, like I said, the little bird and the wing, and different hearts that you can um, cut out with your ease and your die machine. So that's another set. And then we also have the Forever and Always, and they go with the Always dies. And this is so neat because it will punch out your word love and always you got these two big beautiful flowers the dies that will punch those out along with the leaves and then you have these like I said these words and you also have a bubble that goes behind the words and you will see how that works because I'll have that on one of my cards and you'll see that when we get started we're going to do two cards um, in this particular session Another set that I absolutely love is this Meant to Be and Stitched Be Mine. Now these coordinate, and you might wonder how do I keep my dies straight with the names being different than the stamp set. I have, a, I have a system. On the back, when I get my stamps in and my dies, I use a labeler and I label the name of the die set and I put it on the back of the stamp set. And on the back of the die set, I put the name of the stamp set. So no matter which one I pull, if I pull this and I say, oh, I don't remember what stamp set, I can just turn it over and meant to be, and then I know that this is the one that goes, I don't have to go and uh, thumb through my catalog and try to figure it out. It's all right here. So that's just um, one of the little things that, that I use as a, a little trick that helps me keep myself a little bit organized and I can be a very unorganized person. I went ahead and stamped and cut a lot of my stuff and I'm just going to go ahead and bring everything out. I put it in these little plastic sheets so that we could just get everything out here that we need. I've got a bunch of little hearts. I've got a sentiment that I've already stamped in real red and the color palette for this is totally white and red. There's just something that's so pretty about white and red when you're doing Valentine's or red, white, and black, which is another one of my favorites. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to show you how I want to put this card together. Now, I use the die, Stitched Be Mine, and this particular die right here, this little uh, bar, actually is what I cut my scalloped edge with. And let me put a piece of red cardstock under that and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. See how pretty that is? Just a very delicate, um, a very delicate little scallop right on the edge of the card. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, we can do this one of two ways. We can glue this strip right here at the bottom on the back side or we can turn it over this way and put it. It's actually easier to get it lined up, I think. You can do it either way, whichever works best for you. But I'm going to bring it here to the bottom of the card of the card base. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put some glue down. And I'm just going to stick that down. Now let me show you, before we get started, what this card is going to look like. This is the card when we're done. I thought this was just gorgeous. I think it turned out very, very pretty. And we're going to do the same type of card here. And this here um, little ribbon actually came with the Playful Pets um, suite that's in the annual catalog. And I saw it and I said, ooh, it's red and white. Let's use that. So I thought it worked really well. So let me grab my... Um, what did I do with it? I had it here just a moment ago. I lose that little um, 
my little craft mat more than I lose my head. Uh, it is constantly um, just getting at, and you know, I rearranged some stuff just a few minutes ago, so there's no telling where it is. So I guess I'll just have to be careful and hope I don't get any adhesive on my work surface. So we're going to use some liquid glue, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just run a bead. Let me turn this this way. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Got a little bit of a shadow in here this evening. So I'm just going to run a, just a bead of glue across that bottom. And then I want to take this strip and I want to line it up completely even from one side to the other and across that bottom. Now I'm using liquid glue so you all know that we get a little wiggle room with some liquid glue which is what makes it so nice. If you have difficulty putting your cards together and you're using the um, stamp and seal or a snail or even a tape, a tape gun runner, try using some liquid glue. It will save you. And you know, I, I still got to find that mat. Where are you? Oh, here it is. Yay, I found it. <laughs> this is the little silicone craft pad or craft mat and it is a stamping up product it's in our catalog and I am here to tell you this is a godsend because you can put your liquid glue down on it it will rub and peel right off nothing sticks to this even your hot glue if you're using a hot glue gun you can actually set your gun and if it drips once it's cooled you can just peel it off this your tape runner, everything. Nothing sticks, which is, I think it's fantastic. So what we're going to do now is I want to put my piece, I have a piece that is, let me look at my notes and I'll give you the dimensions of this. This piece of cardstock is, um, you know, I didn't write it down. Okay, let's just measure. It is two and three-fourths by five and a half. So it's going to run the entire length of your card. Now this one, I, I didn't run it all the way across, but I thought since this other piece is running across, I think it would be cute for this to run all the way across. So we're going to do that. We're just going to put some liquid glue on this. Yes, I'm using liquid glue tonight. And here we go. Once we get that down on there, and what I'm going to do is just kind of try to even it up from top to bottom, side to side, and then just press that in place. I just love red and white. Isn't that pretty? We haven't even finished the card yet and it already looks gorgeous. Now in that same die set we have this, um, this little die right here. Let me show you what this die does. It cuts out these little hearts like this, and look at those hearts on that red. Are they not spectacular? But not only that, it cuts out these little hearts that come out, so I'll just rake those into a little pile, and I've got hearts for embellishment. I've got red ones, and I've got white ones, because I also cut another piece of this to use on the inside of my card. So this is why I needed my, craft, my little silicone craft mat, because we're going to put some glue on here. And I have a little um, sponge, and Stampin' Up! sells these little sponges. And all you have to do is put an amount of glue right there. And let's put our lid back on our glue. And let's make sure you have this on the right side. You know there's a right and a wrong side to every die cut. So I'm just going to go on here and just dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, and dab. Once you know that you've got your glue on there enough so it will stick, move your little mat out of your way bring your card back over and I just want to center this up as best I can and it doesn't have to be perfect you just want these hearts to look like they just kind of dropped out of the sky and fell on your card aren't they gorgeous and uh, this little die right here came out of the meant to be which is the same stamp set 
and that's this one right here. And all I did was I made, I took it and um, I stamped it, I colored it, I stamped the You Make Me Happy in the middle, and then I used the dies from this set to cut this out. And it also cuts out a border die. As you can see, this border die fits perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this little craft sheet back over because I want to do the same thing here. I want to put some glue just down on the back of this little framelit. We might need a little bit more glue. Didn't take a whole lot because um, you're just you're putting it on a very thin little framelit. So once you get enough on there, take it and then just put it to the center of your card. Something like that. And press it down. And now we have this little heart that's going to fit perfectly in here, but I want to pop it up on some dimensionals. So let's grab our dimensionals. I have some right here. I thought I had laid some out. And I'm just going to put maybe about four. Or two up at the top. One maybe right here in the middle. And then maybe one more right down here at the bottom. And I need that little take your pick tool because this is my best friend in my craft room. I love my take your pick tool. It comes in handy for so many different things. And I love wrangling those little pieces. So I don't have them all over my house because y'all know if you're like me and you don't get those things in your trash can, sometimes even if you do get them in your trash can, you still find yourself finding them all over the the kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom, <laughs> the den. Oh, they, they can be a little mess, but hey, I love them. Okay, so now I want to drop some hearts strategically. Eh, not really strategically, just, you know, throw some down. Let them look like they just, like I said, tumbled out of the sky. Isn't that what we want it to look like? So I'll just kind of drop them. Maybe not upside down. That looks good. I didn't want them to look like they were placed. I wanted them to look dropped. So, you know, drop one, drop two, and maybe even drop three. Why not? I think I want this one over here. Just because. And I love that. And that will still give me a place up here to put that ribbon without co um, covering up anything. So I'm going to use the other side of my Take Your Pick tool. And this has a little putty that will allow us to pick these up and hold them. And I'm going to take my liquid glue in my left hand. And I'm just going to touch the tip to my, my cardstock. And then I am going to stick that heart down. Just like that. And I'll pick that one up and do the same thing. Just a little smidgen. And see how great that Take Your Pick tool works? So many uses for this. I love my Take Your Pick. So if you haven't gotten one, I want to tell you this will be the best 10 bucks you ever spend in your craft room. Because I turn to this thing, I never ever craft without it. Because you got a pokey tool. Um, there's a spatula here so you can pull things off. There's also another piece that goes with it that has um, um, a stylist. So it's just absolutely... I want to make sure I got that one down. I get to talking and then I forget where I'm at. Do y'all ever do that? <laughs> probably not. It's probably a me thing. I'm going to put that one down because I've got too much glue there. So I'm going to just dab a little bit of that glue and put this one right here. And then I'll pick this one back up and sit it down right there. There we go. So now we've got those all down. Now we need to work on the inside of this card. Oh, one other thing too. You know, this one goes with my other card. How did I do that? Hmm. Okay, this one goes with my other card. 
I don't know what I was thinking, but nevertheless, this one does go with this one. So I'm going to open up my other card so I can remember exactly how I did this. And we are going to open the inside up. And now I want to bring over my craft mat again because I want to do the same thing. I want to take these red hearts, turn them over so that your back side is facing up. I'm going to put some more glue right here. And let's just dab and dab and dab. Just keep putting that glue in there until you think you've got enough to, that it will stick to your um, to your cardstock. So let's pull that back over, making sure that I got my card going in the right direction. And now I'm going to drop these right up here, just like that, and just pat them down. There we go. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this red heart and I'm going to put it right here just like that and again I'm going to use some liquid glue you know I'm going to go ahead and use up the rest of this because it's there why not use it right eh, it's not going to be enough to stick this heart down so let's go ahead and open some glue <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great day, and I hope um, everybody's staying healthy and safe, and um, I'm hoping that people will not have Super Bowl parties. We are going to watch the game, but we will do it just like we spent Christmas, just my husband and myself, and uh, I've actually developed a love for football. <laughs> Never thought I would love the game, but my husband has made me appreciate the game. Maybe it's because he watches it and, you know, hey. No, I would say if I want to get TV time, I need to watch sports, but that's not the case. Um, I have a TV here in my craft room, and I have one in, in the bedroom. So if I didn't want to watch what he was watching, I could just go somewhere else. But I like to watch TV with my husband. I think it's important for us to spend time with each other. And uh, I enjoy his company. And I like to think that he enjoys mine. <laughs> Although he does tell me that I talk too much. But then I'm sure a lot of y'all probably think the same thing. I talk just a little bit too much. But hey, it's a beautiful form of communication. And I like communicating with all of my friends. And y'all are my friends. So now I've got this little heart. And I'm going to put that right in the middle and it says I love our life together and I think I'm going to pop this one up as well so let's put and you'll see my boo-boo I was going to put happy valentine's day in here but it was too big and it stamped off of the edges I tried to make it fit I really really did but it didn't so you know what it's all right nobody knows but you and me and uh Maybe a few hundred people that might watch this video. And my channel is growing. I'm so excited. I want to thank each and every one of you that subscribed to my channel. And if you're watching and you have not subscribed, please do so. I am working diligently to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, then I can get sponsorship and I can actually do lives. I can't do live videos until then. So I'm looking forward to those um, that monumental, um, oops, get this in here nice and straight, or as straight as I can. Oh, so pretty. Now we need to put, I didn't do it on the other one, but I am going to do it on this one. We're going to put a few more hearts on here. I want just a few more of these little hearts, and I've got them everywhere, because like I said, when you, um, when you punch out, or you not punch, I'm sorry, wrong word, when you die cut that particular um, piece, you just get hearts galore. And how cute are they to decorate with? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lay them down where I want them, somewhat where I want them. Something like that. Maybe something like that. And maybe a little one down here. 
like that. And we might throw a couple up here and maybe some that looks like they've fallen out of those. Oh, that one's no good. The edge is cut off of it. Let's do some of these little ones. That looks good. I like to just drop them. I think they're so cute like that. And I got some white ones over here. And maybe here. And how about one right there? I love that. We might need one more. Oh, I like that. All right, we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to get that Take Your Pick tool. And I'm going to start up here. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue. And stick that down. Oops. Let me, I'm going to lay my bone folder right there like that. Just to kind of hold that card in place. And let's lay that. Oops. That's not working, is it? Okay, let's switch hands. I am so right-handed, y'all. I can't do anything with my left hand except hand my right hand something to do. So we're going to put one right there. And let's get one right about here. I want this one to be a little bit cattywampus. And one right there. Oops. It's okay. We camouflaged that little boo-boo, didn't we? Let's get this one. And this one. And this one. This is just so much fun. It's so fun just to play. Just come in your craft room. You know, grab up a stamp set and a couple colors, maybe two or three colors of cardstock, and have yourself a time. Um, put stuff together, see if it, if it flies, if it does, great. And if it don't, hey, it's just paper. You can always redo. That's what I say. Okay, I'm just going to clean up a little overflow of glue here and there. Alright, and this card is Oops, almost done. We need to, I tell you what, we're going to let that glue dry while we work on our next card. And that way we can, oh, and I didn't tell you my dimensions. Um, the card base is what I always make my card bases. It is eight and a half by uh, five and a half, scored at four and one fourth. And then I trimmed off just about a quarter of an inch using that die. And that's why the card has this effect. Okay. So let's lay that back over there. We'll do some more embellishments with that in just a minute. Now we're going to work on this card. Mm -hmm. now this card is gorgeous too. And I want to show you, this card is going to look something like this. Isn't that beautiful? And that's that stamp that I was telling you about that cuts out. Um, and that's raised up because it's... Um, because it was die cut and then put together. So I love the way this card turned out. Y'all know I love me some black, white, and red, as well as a lot of you do. It is a great color combination. So let's go ahead and pull out these pieces. And I don't know where this was supposed to go, but it didn't go with that last one. So that's okay. We're not gonna worry about that. that card's done. And I'm gonna pull all of these pieces out. And see, I got static in those little uh, hearts up underneath there, and they don't want to come out. But you know what? We're going to show them who the boss is. Just like that. All right. Now, for this one, we have lots and lots of pieces. <laughs> we have lots and lots of pieces. I, I am going to change this one up just a little bit from the original, um, but not much. Not much at all. Again, I'm starting out with a piece of um, basic white thick, and it is uh, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And this is going to be a landscape card as well. 
And then I have two pieces of, of um, basic black. And these both are cut at 5 by 3 and 3 fourths. And one is for the inside and one is for the outside. Now if you notice, I've got a larger um, border on this one than I had on this one. And there was a purpose behind that. I wanted things to hang over a little bit more than they did on this one. So, you know, it's sort of, what's that old saying, that first pancake never turns out right. You have to cut, cook one or two before you get a, a good one. My son likes to remind my, my, older da my oldest daughter of that because he's the second born. And uh, he says that first pancake never turned out right. <laughs> And of course, my, my oldest loves it. <laughs> she thinks, well, I should say she hates it, but she does love her brother. All right, so I have, I stamped from, let me get the stamp set that I used for this one. And that is going to be the heartfelt. No, no, no. Oh, I'm missing a stamp set. Where is my stamp set? Oh, it's lots of hearts. I had it right to start with. Lots of hearts. And again, that's the mini hearts um, dies, which is this one right here. No, it's not. Mini hearts is a different one. I am just, I'm a hot mess tonight, y'all. Mini hearts is this one, so let me get out the right um, set of hearts. Now, do you see why I make sure that I label these? This is why. All right, this one goes with meant to be. This one goes with many hearts, and we are going to, I'll be right back. We will finish putting this card together in just a minute. I am so sorry, folks. I did not have my mic on, and I looked up and realized I, was, I had no sound. I will either go back and do a voiceover, but I'm basically going to go over real quick what I had just covered. My card base, of course, and then these hearts. Um, I showed you what stamp, what stamp set and dies that I used, and I just adhered these on, and I used my liquid glue, and then I used the other die that has these flowers, and I put that on here. So, I think that was pretty self-explanatory, and I do apologize for not turning my mic on. I thought I had it on. There I go thinking again. I am so sorry. What we're going to do now, that y'all can hear me, which is going to make this much better, uh, I am going to put this down right in the center of that white card stock, or my card base. So, I'm just going to squeeze ever so slightly. And I'm just kind of scrubbing this glue on because I don't want too much. Like I said, we don't want glue oozing out from under our mats or our pieces. And I'm just going to press that down like that. 
Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to take I'm going to take this heart and I think I'm going to put this one down about to here and maybe we'll put this one I'll tell you what, let's put this one down first. We'll put that one up like that and I want just a tiny bit of that black to, to peekaboo out and then I'm going to put this one down about there and then this pretty red one's going to get popped up at an angle right about there. So let's go ahead and adhere these. We're going to do this one first. And just, you know, be liberal with your glue, but not um, not so much that you have a oozing. So let's just press that down right there. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. And I'm going to bring this one down to about here and press that down. And now this one we're going to pop up on dimensions and it's going to go somewhere about like that. Because I want to leave room up there for my sentiment. So let's grab, what did I do with my dimensions? Here they are. We are going to turn this piece over and just pop down a few of these little dimensionals. And I think probably four, five maybe will be plenty. Let's go ahead and wrangle these off. Oh, that one wants to be a little stubborn, but that's okay. We got it. And sometimes if you get more on your um, take your pick tool, they will start not lifting. So I probably should have emptied that when I got to about four. But that's okay. Now I'm going to lay this heart kind of sideways and kind of down at an angle. And I'm using the edge of my cardstock right here to line that up. I wanted it to come down a little further than I did on the other one. And I'll explain why in just a minute. The other thing that we need to do now is I went ahead and uh, stamped this from my heart to yours and I'm going to use a um, one and three quarter inch uh, circle punch and I'm just going to put this in and get it centered about like that and then punch. Now if you want to, you can go around the outside of this with a little bit of um, ink. I did that on the first one, but I don't think I'm going to do it on this one. I have another idea. I think what I want to do is, is punch another circle just a tiny bit bigger out of the red. And let me grab a piece of my red. And I'm using the real red for this. And I don't know that this is going to be quite big enough. Yeah, it should be. Let me grab my punch. And this was one and three fourths. I'm sorry, this is one and one fourth. No, it says three fourths. I want to check because I just want to go up a quarter inch bigger. Yeah, this is one and three fourths, so we need to go up to a two inch. So this is a two inch um, circle, so I'm just going to punch um, the red circle out using that one. And I just think that's going to give that a nice little backdrop of layering it and it will kind of match up with everything else that we did on our card. And I am going to go ahead and put some liquid glue on the back of this. And you don't have to worry about how you get it down. It doesn't, you don't have to line it or anything because it's a circle to a circle. So you just basically want to press that down. I'll turn it over and give it a good little rub and then I'm going to grab some dimensionals but 
I want to see because I'm putting it up on, on top of something that's already got a little bit of dimension so you can see I only need some dimensionals across that top so I'm going to lay it like that knowing that this is my top and I am going to put one two and three right across that top like that and I'm going to take some liquid glue and just put a little bit of that right there and I'm not even going to use my take your pick I'm just going to use my fingernails and pull these off and then I want to sit this down right about here isn't that pretty but we're not finished yet. We still want to embellish this a little bit. So I am going to come back with my little hearts. We still got to do our inside too. I'll tell you what, let's put the inside together before we do the outside hearts. I'm going to bring that little craft mat back over because we are going to work on putting this together and we need to put some liquid glue on these letters. So in order to do that, I am going to do my same little trick. I'm going to put a little liquid, liquid glue right there on my mat, get my little sponge out, and I'm going to do my L first because we want to place this before we do the, the OVE. So again, I just want to make sure that I've got enough of glue to make this tacky. And I am going to strategically lay this down just like that and you see how that's going up into that open spot right there that's how you know you've got it on there correctly just like that see how that kind of curves up into that little cut that's how you know your placement is correct now we're going to go back a little bit more glue and I'm going to do the same thing to this part making sure you're putting it on the back side so just dab some glue all over the back and that looks sufficient and I'm going to do the same thing again with this I'm going to use my little tweezers because this will help me in getting my placement now I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to grab it by the O because I want to place that E in place first because that's the last letter and if you get that one in place, you can pretty much get everything else to kind of fall. And there you go. There's our word love that's going to go on the inside along with the U. Isn't that pretty? And you know what I thought would be really, really pretty to do? Hmm. I don't know if I want to die cut again, but I was thinking if we put a piece of red inside over the black but you know I like the black because it does look like when you put this down it looks like that the love oh I got mm, I got some glue on that but you know what I always say that's why we got two sides to our cardstock so I'm just going to flip that over and we're going to put some glue on the back side of this the side that I already put got glue on by accident and we'll just Spread some glue all over the back of that piece. And now let's put this inside. The same way we did on the outside, just give, giving yourself that even border all the way around. And now we're going to take this piece, and we and it looks like that's raised up a little bit right there, but that's okay. We're just going to take a tiny bit of glue and put that right there. I'm going to let that hold it just for a minute. And there's our little word U. And so what we're going to do is we want the love to go up here and the, the U to kind of go off to the side. Yeah, see that adhered that really well. So again, I'm going to put glue on the back of this. And I'm going to put this down right in the middle. I want this just to be the center part of the.
All right, so we have all those hearts um, glued down, and how cute is that card? Now, I do want to go back because I think we need to do a little bit of embellishment on the front of this. So I'm going to move my hearts all over here out of my way. And I think just some um, some of the um, clear rhinestones would be so pretty on this. I think it would really um, kind of lend a little sparkle to the entire card. And who doesn't love a little sparkle? So I am going to pull out my rhinestone basic jewels. And again, I'm reaching for my Take Your Pick tool. This is another great way to use this and when you're using this you want to slide your jewel, your jewels off and then just bring them over they have adhesive already on them and so all you have to do is just pick them up and then just put them down where you want them so oh isn't that pretty i love it with the jewels on it it really just brings it to life and let's see, do we need one? Maybe we'll do this bigger one right here. And I think that's sufficient. I'm not going to do ribbon or anything on this one because it's already pretty busy. But you can see by adding those little bit of jewels how much prettier this card is. And those hearts inside just scattered, I think just really adds so much to it. So that one is completely done. Now remember this one. We left it over for it to dry. So we've got everything nice and dry on here now. I also want to, as well as putting the bow on, this is the ribbon that I'm using. And this is, um, like I said, this is from the Playful Pets. And I am going to show y'all how I do a bow. And this is a loop bow. So I'm going to do a loop and a loop and a loop. Maybe I'll just do a two loop. That'll give me a little bit more of my ribbon to work with. Yeah, that looks good. Pull that one in. And you can twist your loops and get them like you want them. But now I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to grab that right in the middle. Just like that. I'm going to take this piece and go back around it again, just like we did a while ago. This time we're going to make sure we tie this down good before we clip anything. We're going to make sure we got this good and tight. So I am going to pull the tweezers out. And I'm going to tighten it down. Just like that. I'm going to tie it again. There, that's much better. Then you can pull your little tails um, down. Like that. And like that. And then this one is where we're going to snip this off right here. And this little piece right here. And then we're going to cut this tail like that. And this one like this. And now we're ready to adhere our bow right about there. And I love to adhere my bows with glue dots because they are the easiest way to do this. And so I got a glue dot right there. So let's get this one. I'm going to put a couple on the back of this because it is a, a substantial bow. So let's do two. And then we can just press this bow right, right there. Just like that. And you can pull your tails down a little bit and get it just like you want it. And that is how we did this card. Isn't that pretty? I think both of these cards are, I, you know, I think I really want to do a couple jewels on this one too. You know, nothing says love like some a little bling. So let's put one right here. And maybe one right here. 
And I think I want to put one right up here. I want that angle across the card. That's always visually stimulating to the eye. So there we go. And there is another cute little Valentine card using several of our stamps. And I will have everything that I use and all of the dimensions uh, listed in the description below as well as over on my blog. So be sure to go over and check that out. And like I said, please, 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 if you have not subscribed to my channel and you do like what I do, uh, I don't expect you to subscribe if you don't care for my videos. Uh, that would be asking a lot of anyone. But if you do, if you do find yourself coming back and you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate. Um, show me a little love by hitting that subscribe button. If you ring that little bell right beside subscribe, you can actually choose, personalize how you want to receive your notifications. You can get some or all, or you know, you can decide how often you want to hear. It's totally your preference. So um, go over and do that and. If you have friends in your family or your circle of friends on Facebook, share this video with them. And uh, that helps a lot. It really does help in helping me to grow my channel and get more subscribers. And that helps me, in turn, be able to bring more quality videos to all of you. And that's my goal. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy sharing. And I can do more of that the better my rating is. So... And again, I just hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, learned something. I hope that you were enticed by some of the products that I showed you today. And if you liked any of those products, please click the link in the description below. Go over and do a little shopping on my website. Remember, any purchase will get you in the drawing for the free stamp set uh, that will be drawn on March 1st. The winner will be and uh, if you spend fifty dollars or more you'll get a free gift from me plus during the month of february which is the last month of celebration for every fifty dollars that you spend you can earn a free gift so and that's the celebration in the celebration brochure which is over on my blog as well so all you have to do is go over there and click and you can actually uh, browse the catalog the the new mini catalog uh, and uh, like I said, the celebration. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, please take the time to leave me a comment uh, and give me a thumbs up on the video. That all means so much. And as I always say in closing, please let everything that you do and say bring glory to our Father in Heaven. He's worthy of our praise and our life. And it's so important for us to turn our hearts and our lives to Him. He is the answer. So until we craft again, may God bless and keep you. Bye-bye.